Welcome to another video. This is gonna be the worst three things that you can buy in your 20s. I promise you if you follow this or just, hey, give me a couple minutes to explain all of them, then you're gonna understand where I'm coming from and hopefully you can avoid some of these things that I did in my 20s that you know will help you make more money in the long term and set you up to be a little bit more financially free. Luxury clothing. Honestly, stop trying to impress people you don't care about. I used to buy all this Supreme and fuck the population, all that type of hype b and it didn't do anything for me. Yeah, I feel cool throwing on a hoodie that says fuck everyone on it, but I just don't see the point in spending a hundred $150 on a hoodie when you could literally just go somewhere and get five hoodies for that same price. It comes down to just, you know, being comfortable in your own skin and not needing to impress other people. I mean, sure, if you want to go get a jersey or your favorite player or something like that, it's it's not, I'm not saying never do it. If you have money laying around or you get a nice bonus at work, do it. I mean, I'm just trying to set people up in the best way possible to be successful long term. And, you know, going and dropping $150 just to wear Supreme across, across your chest, just... It ain't it. I'm telling you, it ain't it. I just want to take a second to thank our sponsors, Jake Paul Prime. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. No sponsors. Alcohol, drugs, whatever it may be, um, those, those things that you, when you take them or you use them, they just disappear. I cannot even explain to you how big this one is and has been for me saving money and putting it aside. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to act like I've never drank before, you know? I mean, I, I've had my fair share of drinks, but when you're consistently doing it week after week, it just, it gets to be a point where you can invest that money or put it somewhere that's going to do way better things for you. So this is the example that I have. Let's say that you go to the liquor store or you go buy beer every single weekend to, you know, whatever, go to your friend's house, watch the game, whatever it may be. And you're spending $30, 20, or let's say, let's just say you're spending $20 on alcohol every single week for a year, 52 times 20. That's over a grand that you're losing out on every single year. It's all within reason. Have a little bit of, you know, you got to, you got to worry about what's going into your body, but you also really, really want to limit the way, like how much you're doing this stuff. I mean, you can't be doing it all every weekend if you're trying to build your wealth up to somewhere, you know, that's meaningful. An expensive car, an expensive car, that man, that one really gets me going. I'm going to be honest, I have been a victim to this one. So we all know somebody that gets a good job out of high school, out of college, and they say, you know what, man, I'm getting paid $60,000, $80,000 right out of college now. Let me go drop an absolute bag on a car. Bro, you just bought a $40,000 car. That's half, if not more, of your salary for an entire year. That's minus any other expense, student loan, rent, any anything. I got a great example on this one. My brother, who, one of the smartest people I know, he milked the family car for three years after I graduated college. He literally, he gets it. He, he, just, he just gets it. I go out, I buy a car, uh, traded in my you know 2004 Saab for two grand, go and buy a $20,000 car, and I'm paying, I'm paying two, 300 bucks every single month just to drive a vehicle. Obviously I'm putting gas in it. I'm doing regular maintenance on, not regular maintenance, but you know, oil changes and things like that. Where this kid is spending money on oil and gas, no car payment. He does the proper maintenance to keep up with it. And it lets him roll for another three years, not even having to put a dime into it other than gas and other, you know, random things that go wrong every once in a while. But here I am paying $250 a month just to literally just to drive on the road. I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. That stuff accumulates so, so fast. I mean, you know, and then the interest rates and you're just, you're getting, you're getting way, way up there and you're spending way more money than you have to. That's why 
I suggest, obviously, I mean, this is what I want to do one day is I want to get a used vehicle or just be able to pay my car off because it's been so long now. I basically got that thing paid off, but I just want to be able to buy a used car, do regular maintenance and stack my money in other places. Like I said, invest it in other places that are actually going to make me money long term. With all that said and done, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Smack that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, like this one up. And I'm going to be dropping videos like this basically every week. So we are back at it now. Until next time, peace.